Hey, what's up Bully Fam? Chris here of Feel and Bully Cam. Today we're gonna talk about studying out your dog and dig deeper in the process. It, it may look seems easy but it's not. You have to do it right because there's a lot of competition outside. Let's go! out your dog according to my experience you cannot stud out your dog too early like 8 to 10 months I've, se I've been seeing a lot of dogs being promoted like or stud out at 10 months but that's too early for me you have to start like one year old and up the semen is matured enough to do a breeding the very first thing that you need to do when your dog is at his right age like one year above is to bring him to a vet and make sure that he's healthy and next thing to do with the vet is do a semen check on him they will put the semen under a microscope and study if there's there are right numbers and the semen are moving when you stud him out and then tell the doctor or the vet to make a semen evaluation printout for you so that you can show that to your customers because the cup customers need to make sure that the semen of your dog is 100% working because this is your first time your dog is gonna be stud out and they won't trust the dog yet because he's not proven yet so that will be your first step now that you have brought your dog to the vet talk to yourself assess your dog does he have the the eat or the the wow factor is his structure correct does he have the bone the mass you have to admit it to yourself that if your dog doesn't have it it will be hard but if your dog really has it and you, you you're the you're the owner you should know that and you will see it then that's when that you can stud out your dog you can try bringing him to a show and compete with other dogs compare him so that you are sure that your dog is better than the rest or you know no no dog is perfect but it's just that that your dog with, will stand out with the other dogs especially the males because you're gonna stud out your dog there will be a lot of competitions if your dog has the color has the bone has the structure has the temperament has the movement why not go on study him out now that we have uh, semen evaluated our dog and the semen is good now we're gonna make sure that we have good photography pics you need to have professional pictures of your dog so that you can post it in Facebook, Instagram or in social media or in the internet. One picture will destroy your dog so make sure every time you post a picture of your dog in social media or in the internet make sure that it's the best. Do not mess up with these pictures because that is where the first impression comes. So when the customer sees the, the picture of your dog and they like him, they will keep in touch with you by messaging you uh, privately, by text or anything. When you post the pictures of your dog online, make sure you itemize the, the fees, like the stud fee, the, like the lock-in fee. And uh, the shipping fee for the seamen, if they're out of state or if they're local, shipping is free or they can pick it up. So that everything is clear. So when they message you, it will be all about the dogs only. And you are sure that they're really interested with your dog. 
But don't get excited. Some are only window shoppers. They just ask about the dog and you know, they, they're just curious. And they just some some they just wanna waste your time. They don't have anything to do. So when they are serious, they will pay the lock in fee. What's a lock in fee? Lock in fee is the is the thing they pay when just to reserve that that present price of your stud fee. So for example, your stud fee is one thousand dollars. Lock in fee three hundred dollars. The lock-in fee, $300, is like reservation of your dog's stud fee for that price of $1,000. Because once you get your dog proven like two times or three times, you can raise up your the price of his stud fee to another $500, so he gets $1,500 already. So every time your dog produces good and... Uh, it gets proven you have to raise up your price and give value to your dog as soon as you get inquiries about your dog from customers asking about how much is his stud fee or lock-ins you have to set up first your online payments like you can use cash app Zelle or online bank payment because that makes the job easier. We have to make sure that the customer has an easier way paying you for convenience. Of course, after paying the lack in fee, number one thing to do is make the document. Number one thing to do is document everything. You have to make a stud contract. How many liters is not considered a liter? Like how many puppies is not considered a liter? Some use two to three puppies is not a liter, so they they do a repeat on the breeding. But if it's like three puppies up, then that breeding is done. Make sure that you ha you document your transaction, like make a stud contract, put all the ifs and buts there. If uh, like. If you want to do a progesterone testing, put it there just to so that the chances of the breeding is higher. And if you want to, everything that you want to put in the stud contract, you can put it there. And you send it to the customer so that they can read on it and sign it. And they can have a copy. Everything you do must be documented. Uh, a separate video for stud contracts will be done uh, in the next episode. So your customer is ready to use your dog, your stud. It should be noted in the stud contract that when the bitch or the female dog is swells up, they have to give you a notice. Or when they brought the bitch to the vet, they should tell you like three two to three days in advance that they will be needing the semen because you can estimate the peak ovulation period of the female dog when they do the progesterone testing so when the vet tells them that she might ovulate like two to three days you you need the customer needs to tell the stud owner that they need the semen two days after so that they can do the surgical insemination and the stud owner will be given ample time to prepare the semen and ship it and it will arrive the customer at the right time always remember document everything and put all the ifs and buts in the stud contract there are four ways by which you can breed or stud your dog with First is the natural tie, wherein you let the dogs tie each other. Second, you can do an artificial insemination or as they call it, AI. Third is the TCI. They use a camera with a pipe a device. They put it in the private of the beach and there's a camera at the end and they, imp they plant the semen in the ovaries of the female dog. 
and the fourth is the surgical insemination so the the thing with natural insemination it it puts your stud in danger if the female got a disease or something like that so before you do a natural tie make sure the bitch is a uh, vet tested and they have a proof a paperwork that the the female dog is che was checked by a vet the safest way for me is like a side by side artificial insemination there's no contact between the stud and the bitch what they do with artificial insemination is they draw the semen from the male and they and from the and they, they draw the semen from the male and they implant it on the female using a syringe with a pipe in it with it as long as you can put that in the contract too that you you prefer ai only or you don't want to do natural ties for the breeding you can say that your dog can't do it because he's too small or tiny something like that as long as you put everything in writing or document everything it will lessen the mistakes and the breeding process will be foolproof but there will be some problems arising as you go through the studying of your dog but we learn from the mistakes in each breeding and that's how we and after each mistake that we make that's how we foolproof it and put it in the stud contract so that the next time that mistake won't happen again we're not perfect okay so every mistake that we make in our breeding next time you have to be proactive not for it not to happen again i hope you did learn a lot from this episode stud fee and lock-ins and i hope you you do click like share and subscribe so that you will be updated of the next videos that we're gonna make thank you and god bless signing out